Richard Southern is back with us to chat about some of the day's most interesting stories. And it's the dinner hour, Richard, so let's start with a food-related story. Yay, uh, yummy, uh, Erica. It's a petri dish chicken uh, now on the menu. Lab growing meat is a thing. It, it's gotten the AOK -okay from US authorities. Uh, there's a big uh, company out in California, a new one called Upside Foods. And what they do, Erica, they make uh, chicken from culture chicken cells. So they get the chicken cells, they put them in a petri dish, and they grow some meat instead of having to slaughter a chicken and advocates they hope now that this lab growing meat will reduce the uh, need uh, not only to slaughter animals but will help uh, climate because a lot of greenhouse gas emissions comes from uh, uh, factory uh, farming so the question erica is would you uh, dig in to some petri dish chicken i would try it i think but i just i'm i'm very interested to see what it would taste like but it, yeah, it would too. be good I for the environment i guess yeah, and I, I like the fact that no chickens would be hurt right. in the making of my dinner. Right. That okay. appeals to me. <laughs> um, free usually, candy. Several, usually several are. Yeah. You know? <laughs> okay, free candy. Uh, usually, usually not a bad thing, except maybe in one case, Richard. So this is a wild story. A guy in uh, Germany last week, he's walking through a train station in Frankfurt, and he sees a, a piece of paper fluttering by. He picks it up. You know what it is? It's a check, Erica, for... Uh, six uh, million bucks, and it's made out from the uh, the uh, Har Harbo uh, gummy candy uh, company, and they make some good gummies there, these guys. <laughs> but they, they had this check floating around. I guess some, somebody lost it, and he does the right thing, this guy. He calls uh, Haribo, and he, he turns in the check, and he says, I found your check, and he destroys it. What does he get in the mail as a thank you? Not a few bucks. He gets four bags of gummy bears. <laughs> and he tells a local newspaper, he says, quote, I thought that was a big bit cheap. Now, should we expect something in return when we do a good deed like that, Erica? I mean, it's you shouldn't really ex uh, expect something, but I mean, four bags of gummy bears doesn't seem like enough four of bags. a thank you. Even though it's top quality gummies, I can vouch for that, but still. I'm sure they can swing for like a lifetime supply. I don't know. Yeah. Sure. Okay, uh, finally, an American woman has accomplished quite the feat, and it all has to do with her feet. Uh, I'm going to show you the largest pair of female feet. There they are, Erica. <laughs> now, here oh. I am. I thought you I thought you had the world's biggest feet. Uh, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> what are you talking about? I ran that by uh, our camera operator, Alex, and he said, I don't know if that's, I shouldn't have said it. I'm sorry, Erica. <laughs> You're not even close. These are the biggest feet here. This is a woman out of Houston, Texas. Uh, 13 inches long, they measure Erica. She stands six foot nine. She wears a size 18 shoe. And it's, uh, it's not all uh, laughs. She has to shop online. She says no yeah. stores carry her sizes. <laughs> you know what they say about women with big feet? They wear big shoes. That's, that's big shoes true. To fill. She has a very commanding presence, I must say. <laughs> it's a okay. very nice way of saying it, Erica. <laughs> Thanks, Richard. <laughs> See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.